They built this country. In the final stretch of the U.S. Senate race in Alabama, Roy Moore is getting a boost from his party, which had all but abandoned Next him question, just sir. weeks before. You know what they want to do? They want to destroy Judge Roy Moore, and you know why? They want to take your voice away. Fiery former Chief White House strategist Steve Bannon hit the trail for Moore on Tuesday night. His appearance just one day after President Donald Trump officially endorsed the former judge. And the Republican National Committee reversed position to now support Moore. See, what I think, I think they're afraid that I'm going to take Alabama values to Washington. Mr. Moore, do you have anything, anything to say about the allegations? Okay. But many GOP leaders in Congress continue to distance themselves from Moore, who faces multiple allegations of sexual misconduct, including accusations that he molested two teenage girls and pursued romantic relationships with several others while in his 30s. He is denied all of it. Moore's Democratic opponent, Doug Jones, is making sure the allegations stay front and center, referring to his record as a former prosecutor. I damn sure believe that I have done my part to ensure that men who hurt little girls should go to jail and not the United States Senate. With the eyes of the country on Alabama's controversial Senate race, many residents are starting to worry about how their state is being perceived. They think we're idiots, other parts of the country. Then you got Trump supporting him and backing him and saying it's okay. I think he lacks integrity and I think he's hiding behind Christianity. And I think it's a slap in the face to Jesus. I mean, I'll be supporting him. He's a great man, man of God. For more supporters, this race is about hardline devotion to Christian conservative values. And their belief is he will make a change in Washington. Voters head to the polls on December 12th. Robert Ray, Associated Press, Mobile, Alabama.